guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today we are making over a plain kind of wooden humdrum tissue box holder and going to bedazzle it and sparkle it up and make it just shiny and happy and the best thing you've ever seen. So super excited about that. I'll link everything you need down in the description along with my socials as always and let's get going. Okay, so I have my wooden box on some paper towels just to protect the table and I'm going to be painting it gold. I'm gonna be using actually like a little tiny paint instead of spray paint like I usually do because it is wood and it's unfinished and I don't want the spray paint to like sink in and be able to see all of the edges. This is a little bit thicker so I'm hoping it's gonna cover it up and just give it a nice smooth finish. I'm gonna be using a foam brush just because it'll go on faster that way so that's all I'm gonna do. super fast look at that I love painting this is like the easiest way in the world just to transform something from like its most basic state into something super cute and pretty also don't forget to get the inside because you can see that but yeah just simple transformations is incredible and awesome and usually pretty budget-friendly so it's a great way to add awesome decor to your home without breaking the bank Get a nice kind of one-way smooth edge going. Touch up anything I missed. Just like that. And then go ahead and paint all the sides. bottom too as soon as these dry but basically that's it super fast super easy super glam okay so the top and sides are dry I'm just gonna flip it over paint the bottom so this type of box opens just like that so I am gonna kind of paint around the inside but uh, yeah otherwise that's the paint done super fast Okay, so the paint is dry and we have a cute little metallic gold tissue box. The next step is the bedazzling and I am using just a sheet of the self-adhesive strip gems. These actually have like a really cool like almost holographic background which isn't really picking up on camera but they're like a little bit extra sparkly, so I love that. And basically I'm just using a whole sheet and I was looking at it against this and I actually kind of like the way the stripes look on it, the way they're spaced on here. So instead of individually putting them on, I was thinking maybe I could do like a quick transfer technique, like just cut this in fours, um, measure it of course, and then um, hopefully just kind of like stick them on and peel it off. So I'm going to get this trimmed and then change the camera angle and really hoping that works because that will save me so much time and just be super easy way of doing it. So I've got my four sheets and this is not a perfect square. So actually some of the sheets are too thin there, but they fit there. So just kind of bear that in mind that you actually measure the whole thing. So like that's too big for that one. So these are my wider sheets. Those are gonna go on those sides and these are my thinner sheets. So we're gonna start with the thinner side and basically, hopefully this works, I'm just gonna peel the top kind of row of all of them. There we go. So it's a little tricky to line the gems up because they're adhesive, so like some will stick and some will jump backwards, but Eventually, you will line them up and then just press down the front kind of layer and make sure you kind of go back straight and then just kind of press them down as you go. As you pull the plastic back, readjust as needed to make sure the lines go straight. And uh, yeah, actually pretty simple.
Oh my gosh, it worked. Awesome. Yay. That's so cool. So now that the sides are lovely and sparkly and bedazzled, it's time to decorate the top. So I'm basically just starting with my large um, gems from the pack. It's a multi-pack, so I have large, medium, and small. And basically just putting a bunch of large ones on, and then I'm going in with the medium. And I'm just filling in the spaces, but they still take up a lot of real estate, so that's great. And then now that the holes are really small, that's when I'm going in with the small gems, because if I just straight up use small gems, it would take a million of them. So use up the space with the large and the medium. But I really like the way it looks with the different size gems on there. It just gives it a little bit more depth and a little bit more sparkle and glam and personality. So I definitely prefer that, even though I like the stripes of the small ones on the sides on the top. Definitely like how it's looking with the different size little gems and crystals up there. So looks like a little jewelry chest and I love it. All right, guys, final reveal time. Here's how it turned out. Look at it. It's so sparkly and blingy. I love it. It's so cute. Look at that. Is this not the most extra tissue box you've ever seen? I don't have tissues in there right now, but I will put some in and I know exactly where this is going. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh, look at it sparkle. So great. I will put some pictures up at the end as always and everything you need down in the description below along with my socials. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe if you wanna see more and I'll see you here again next time. Bye. Look at it sparkle, sparkly, sparkly. Oh, it's so pretty, I'm obsessed. Love it.